So we're going to draw all of the ray diagrams for our two types of curved nodes. So let's start off with our uh, convex. Convex mirror, let's have a nice little underline. Wiggly lines are easier to draw underlines than straight lines. For some reason they look fine here. Um, convex mirror. You can't draw straight lines. Yeah, I have trouble drawing straight lines. This is our, um, our axes to give us. Sorry, it's a little bit hard to get it perfect on the whiteboard, but on the smartboard, I should say. Um, we want to have an object. Here's our object. Symbol. Uh, symbolized by the arrow and O for object. We have uh, an imaginary, let's go back to red just to, we have an imaginary or virtual focal point behind the mirror. Okay. Rays. Always draw parallel light ray. Make it easier, parallel to the axes. And that's going to reflect as though it comes from the focal point. Okay. So remember, the dotted line is always where it appears to come from. You can't, if, not, if I drew a dotted line across here, where um, the parallel light ray is coming in, you'll end up with something that doesn't work nicely. Okay, our second light ray, we can use the equal angle law right at the center um, here, because at that point, this is so it's a flat, uh, plane mirror. So we can... Um, Go from the height of the object above and below, or we can use a protractor to measure these angles. So these two angles should be the same. And again, we take the dotted line where it appears to come from. If you were an observer on this side, you would see the light rays uh, backtracking from the arrows to give you an image here. And as we said before, the image is uh, virtual because it's made up of light rays that appear to come from a point. You can't project this image on a screen. Uh, it is upright because the arrows are pointed in the same direction. And when you look in a security mirror, everything is up the right way. And what was the other thing? It's diminished. It's not magnified. That means it's uh, made smaller. Um, and the magnification is the height of the image over the height of the object. Okay, so that's our convex mirror. It's nice and easy. Uh, you can draw it if you like, but this is going to be up on the net anyway. So, yeah. um, Then we've got the concave mirror. And the concave mirror has... How many uh, ray diagrams that we can draw? We drew them all last time, I think. Five? 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 So we take two reference points. One is the focal point. Keep the noise down a bit, please. One is the focal point. Another is twice the focal point, which is the radius of curvature of the curved mirror, that is. And we can start from outside the, the radius of curvature, outside 2F. We can have the object at 2F. We can have the object between F and 2F. We can have the object at F, or even inside F. And each of those will produce slightly different images and produce a pattern um, similar to when you were walking from far away to close when we had the concave mirror. Alright, now this is going to be tricky because it hasn't automatically given me a scroll down, so I'm just going to do my best to make it appear. There we go. Let's do this page down thing. Don't worry if you can't see the other part. Okay, concave mirror. Make it as quick as I can. Um, Tidiness is not what we're looking at here. We're looking at how the process of construction goes. We should use a ruler, um, protractor where appropriate. Okay, focal point. Approximately twice the focal point. And we're going to have our object outside um, to it. Parallel light ray. Parallel light rays reflect through the focus. And we can have one array that goes through the focus. The arrows show the direction on there, and it'll reflect parallel. That 
exactly results in image in this location. And the image is inverted. It is uh, diminished. And it's real or virtual? Real. Real, because we have real light rays crossing over. What's the difference? It's, the difference is, um, <laughs> there's a really big difference. No. The difference is between, <laughs> sorry about that, I, I can't help myself. Um, whether the light rays are real or whether they're those dotted light rays. So, uh, let's just go back up to the previous one up here. You can see we've made dotted light rays, and that's behind the mirror. No real light rays can actually get behind the mirror. Right. Um, you can get virtual images that are in front of the mirror, but they're also made with dotted light rays. Right. And that would be like a hologram sort of thing. Right. Okay. Continuing now. Uh, don't worry if you didn't get that. This will be available online, as I said before. Here is our mirror again. We've got F. And 2F, this time our object is going to be at F. Parallel light ray, through the focal point, through the focal point, parallel light ray. And that's come out quite nicely because our object should be at 2F. And this is the only situation where you get um, the object and image the same size for our A contact lens uh, and real. So we've got an uh, inverted again. It is same size. So magnification equals what? Yep, not not zero. Yeah. Zero wouldn't work. And it's a real image. Okay. Uh, next one. I'll scroll through all of these at the end again too. Uh, F. This time we're going to put the object between F and 2F. Can you see the patterns in how I'm drawing these? So parallel light ray through the focal point, through the focal point, I'm imagining the line somewhere around there, reflecting parallel. And this is good, this is what we're expecting because. Um, as we get closer to the focal point with our object, our uh, image is going to get larger and closer to infinity. Okay, so that's our image. And it's inverted. It's uh, magnified this time. And it's still real. It's still really real. Sorry. Two more. Point there. Twice the focal point. This time our object is at the focal point. Parallel light ray. Through the focal point, roughly speaking. Um, if we tried to draw our other light ray straight down through the focal point, it's going to produce a little bit of a nonsense kind of situation. So instead I'm going to use the equal angle law, striking at the mirror here. Uh, at the very center, because remember the center of the mirror um, is like a plane mirror at that single point. And that's going to produce a light ray that reflects down here. And these light rays are parallel. Parallel light rays. Don't meet. So we have no image. And twenty faces of other twenty five faces. Um, interestingly enough, if you dot these back, they'll continue back on into infinity, never meeting as well. So they're still parallel back there as well. Okay. Last one. And this is a, a another interesting one. So this is not exactly the same as all the rest. There's F. Two F. Object inside to it, uh, inside F, I should say. 
Same one here, parallel white ray. Through the focal point. Now again, I have to use the equal angle law. And this time it's going to be spreading out. So it's spreading like margarine. Not as bad as margarine though, that's terrible stuff. Um, if we if we're an observer. <laughs> See, I think I have a theory, and I think comments like that keep people engaged in what's going on with the. Yeah. Diverging is a better word, yes. Yeah. Much better word. That's right. Yeah. Diverging. Um, so, this is the observer, and that means the light rays are appearing to come from somewhere, so we have to dot them backwards. And try this one back. So they cross over about there. We have an image that is virtual because it's on the wrong side of the mirror to be made from real light rays. Why isn't the image um, just below in the light of the Yeah, why, why isn't it there? Because this ray is going that way and this ray is going that way. They're both going in opposite directions. So they're not they're not meeting um, in a coherent way, I guess. I mean, if you think about it, um, through the air, you've got light rays going in all sorts of different directions, and they don't meet and produce an image, they just pass straight through each other. So usually you have to make them meet on a screen, like we did with the small mirror um, onto the bit of paper or uh, where this book was. So the nature of the image in this case, it is uh, magnified, that is upright, and it is virtual. Okay. So let's just quickly scroll through them so you can see uh, the process. Go back up to the top. Um, so we had the convex mirror. Let's close the door. And I'm recording all this as well. Um, so the convex mirror. Producing a virtual image on the wrong side of the mirror to be real, made from light rays that are dotted that converge at a point or appear to converge at a point. Uh, and so, then we go to so that's virtual, diminished, and virtual. Yep. Diminished and what's the other one? Upright. Upright. Okay, this question always comes up to ask you what those three things are, so make sure you can identify them. Absolutely essential. Um, concave mirror. Uh, first, the object's starting really far away, and we have a, an image that is close to the focal length. If I have an object even further away, so getting way, way out here, the further away it gets, the closer you will get your image to the focal point. And you won't actually get a further <coughs> image because it'll just be focusing all the light to one point, like when we're trying to burn stuff. Um, now we've stepped the object in uh, to 2F, and we get an image that's the same size as the image there, same size as the object, just inverted. Um, and next, we've moved the object inside 2F, but not yet at F, and we get a larger image that's moving further away. Um, gradually moving towards infinity and then we have no image because our object's at the focal point and this is the exact reverse as if we had a source that was way way in infinity producing parallel light rays that converge on the focal point instead we've got it set up in reverse and this is how headlights work in your car you have a mirror and you have a light source at the focal point shining into the mirror and it reflects it in parallel rays so you can direct the beam really easily and that way you don't have to brighten up everyone's eyes for trying to come the other way and, and they won't crash and die on the bed. Yeah. And is that also to be more efficient so like the light coming from the back goes in, or it all goes out one exactly. way? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's very efficient. That's, that's a good point. Um, this is a smiley face. Okay, that's not this is real though. And what is it? Okay, there we go. And the last one, shifting the object inside the focal points. And we get these uh, reflection pattern that is spreading out or diverging, and they appear to come from a point which is here, and that produces uh, outright magnified virtual image. 
Any questions? And I'll, if not, I'll stop the recording. But is that good? Can you watch the other window? No. No, it's not a recording? No, go, go on the other window. Yeah, that one. Oh, that one. No.